Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is like a vlog, God, I look tired. It's going, why do I look like a thief too? Anyway, it's currently like, it, it's 8 o'clock and I'm traveling to Calgary. I'm actually going to BC. That's my main location. But I'm going to BC tomorrow. I'm going to Calgary today. Why am I going to Calgary earlier than time? Or why am I going to, why am I leaving Lethbridge and going to Calgary? It's because my flight for British Columbia it's early in the morning on Tuesday, like nine o'clock. So my plan is to like go to Calgary, stay in Calgary, then go to BC on Tuesday. Do you get? So yeah, so I'm following Red Arrow today. I'll take you guys along. I woke up late and I did not pack. I have like work to do that I've not yet done. <laughs> Just like God, the best thing is not to even miss that bus that is taking me to Calgary. In fact, let me, I'll tell you about this trip once I'm very, very settled you get. Okay, now, bye. Okay, so I'm currently heading to school. So the bus is going to stop in school. The ride arrow bus is going to pick me in school. So I'm heading to school now. I think I'm late. It's 21, but I think they'll wait for me. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you love. I think they'll wait for me. So let's hey. see, let's see. Anytime, anytime. Biggie, biggie. When I will pass it to you, help me with this video. I'll just leave So do remain on the bus until you reach your destination. There's a toilet at the back if you need it. The door slides to the right to get in. There's pop water and cookies at the back. Help yourself. Air conditioning's on. It's reading a comfortable temperature now up here. But it is difficult for me to tell so many times throughout the trip. If you feel it needs some adjustment, just come on up. Let me know. And the movie's on. If you wish to watch it, you'll need headphones. And you'll need to change the channel selector in front of you to channel 5. Now other than that, sit back. You can enjoy the ride. And thank you for choosing Red Arrow this morning. breakdown of this trip and what this trip is meant for so i'm going to see my sister in bc right but my flight tomorrow is in the morning for bc so i'm going to bc like 9 a.m so i can't leave let's bridge that early to come to calgary so that's i'm calgary a day before i travel you get i finish it now. i think i have energy to talk in this vlog my god i was so hungry so yeah Empty, oh, I'm just hungry. Me and this hotel food at what this place airport that food is expensive. I spent almost $30 already. This food, like, for $19. The mortar that is cheap, almost $4. I'm like, what? Maybe my lips are even washed, I even look bright. Mm. So, yeah, I'm in Calgary airport, so fine. I just want to do like a video in front of the Christmas tree there. Hopefully I don't get shy and hopefully I will find someone to video me. I think that's the main thing. If I find someone that is kind enough to video me, that would be nice. Okay, bye. Hello guys, so I've gotten to my Airbnb. I'll give you guys a room tour, don't worry. First of all, I want to lament. I want to I want to insult an airline. And insult that airline from the bottom of my heart. In this life, in this life, if you can, 
don't go for cheap things what did i say don't go for cheap things hmm. when i first got to canada right i'm pinned because now they just shifted my flight when i just got to canada right i wanted to go and visit my sister and you know me now i was looking for the cheapest airline my idea when i was looking for the cheapest airline is that i didn't know that even in the abroad cheap things come with bad experience i saw this airline you know what the airline is flare airline i don't care i'm calling out the company because i'm pissed i don't care there's nothing they are going to do for me that will make me know flare flare airline don't enter it don't enter it i saw their ticket so cheap everything everything all that I should probably book this ticket to go to like half of my journey was around like eighty seven dollars or so. I was so excited. I was like, fine, I'm going to book it, and I will go to my sister's place with that airline, right? Now this was October time. Now come October time to travel, I had to find a way to because they only have a flight station in Calgary, not in Lethbridge. So I had to find a way to get from. Let's bridge to Calgary for a flight that was for nine o'clock. And when that flight was for like around nine ish, I got an email that they shifted that flight to eleven. Or like nine eleven, and stay close, stay close. Before it became eleven o'clock, I got another email again that they shifted the flight to one a.m. And what was annoying me was that where they were going to drop me in. Um, BC in British Columbia it was not even my sister's place. They're going to drop me in Abbotsford. I don't know how they pronounce that place, but they're going to drop me in that improve in, in that state or whatever in that city in that Abbotsford city. They're going to drop me in that city, and then I was going to enter like the bus I entered the saw today, the red arrow. I'm going to enter that bus from Abbotsford to Kamloops. Now tell me how I had booked hotel that last time. I had booked hotel in October. To go to that Abbotsford, I had to cancel that hotel, and that hotel did not give me back my money. That red road were kind enough to help me to shift my date to December. That I said, okay, fine, December, I'm going to go. I never plan on coming in December at all, though. because of this flight. This flight airline people wanted to tell me that I cannot cancel. They claimed that because they shifted the flight for two hours forty five minutes and not for three hours, so I don't qualify for a refund. So they didn't give me back my money. So I was forced to say, okay, fine, I'm going to rebook with you. They forced me to rebook with them. Now I rebooked with them. I got to Calgary a day before because they claimed that the flight was for 9 a.m. And I told you that ah, the flight is LEO, everything, everything. Let me out when I checked in. And this is what they do. They wait for you to check in. The moment you check in, you tie yourself with them. So they wait for you to check in. It's not up to two hours. I got an email, one stupid dirty email, talking about flight restriction, whatever. How come better airlines are flying despite their restriction, but you, you are not flying? That is why I say cheap things, bad experience. If you can avoid it, if resources can help you avoid it, avoid it totally. The reason why me myself I even opened myself is because I wanted to use my free airline. I would have generally, generally used my worst jets that I'm used to, that I've used and is trusted. I would have used it. Oh God, I'm paying. If I say I'm not paying, then I'm lying. Cause then I had booked Red Arrow. And from that hours for to Camloos tomorrow. For 11 a.m. I'll be 11:30. Not that my oh, not that it's so quick. I'm I'm so quick fast. Oh, oh, so me I'm tired. Few moments later. Thank you everybody, I'm very angry. I'm living this Airbnb now. God, I've suffered. No, hold on, I'm updating my YouTube people. So, I'm living this Airbnb. It's currently 5.30 or so. Oh, I've suffered to want to wait. I got here. This room is hot. Home girl is waiting like Christmas goods when it's not even Christmas yet. It's just 21st. It's not yet Christmas at all. My lips are even dry. Oh God. This woman is blowing me it because this is a basement. So look over there. What did I spring from that vent? Aside from that, 
this. We say stupid, stupid groups and regulations in this Airbnb. And they call that a super host. We don't know man parole. Wise people too used to lie. And before we not used to lie. No, what? Let me complain again. I just want to be. I've not had a good travel experience. I just wish. You no, know what? I would just like to end this vlog here. Go punish Flair Airline. That's all I have to say. This is me angry. I'm signing out now. I will continue my journey or my vlog, part two of the vlog, when I get to BC. Free things will stress your life. Busa signing out now. Bye. God, do I even sound like this?